Three separate families living in one house were left homeless last night after a raging fire destroyed almost everything that they had. At around 9.30 last night, a small mobile home housing three adults and more than 10 children on Boots Crescent in Belize City caught on fire. Hippolyto Novello reports. A video taken by a neighbor with his cell phone shows raging flames consuming a portion of the narrow trailer home. Firefighters quickly assessed the scene and began to extinguish the flames. Inside the house lived about 14 persons, most of which were school children. They had to be quickly evacuated by the elders before the fire trapped them inside. Tanisha Flowers was awakened when she smelled smoke. I get up and I smell this thing, you know, like wire, you know. So I get up, grab my phone, you know, to check my wires there and my outlet. But, no, but I think they, they, they smell this thing come strong. I look out through my window and I still not see nothing, you know, and... When I reach out for, say, for use the car, they, 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 they have the door open. And when I rush out, I see the house on smoke, you know. But when I look, go, no stove, no the hand, no tank, no the hand, you know. Because we lack off everything that night, you know. And when I look, the back room blazing fire, the road. So I had a rush to the kids and tell them, oh, no, hurry, come out. Flowers then alerted her sisters and their children. Luckily, everyone got out in time and unhurt. According to Orrin Smith, the station manager for the Belize National Fire Service, a lit candle caused the inferno. Following a brief size up, the fire department uh, went into operation to extinguish the fire. The fire was later brought under control and extinguished. Preliminary investigation reveals that the fire originated within the kitchen and occurred as a result of a lit candle that had fallen over candles that light and drop on the bed. And from there the fire just went out of control? Yes sir. When we see the smoke and fire, my oldest daughter jump off of the bed, knock her knee to, the, to my bed, and we still made it out because then the walkway was small. So we had to squinch and try and make it out and ball at no one turn back because we still we are get hurt. We don't forget scared and we don't forget afraid. So we just came through the door. How many firefighters were deployed and how long did it take to control or doze out the flames? Seven. Only about five minutes after we arrived on scene, the main body of the fire was already extinguished and mop-up process continued. And it was that quick response from the National Fire Service that the Flores family was able to salvage some pieces of clothing. I just managed to save some clothes and nothing else. No, obviously you need assistance. What sort of things do you need from the public? Well, we need some food items. We need house. We need school supplies because we have kids where they go to college, one where they go to six farm, where they go to primary school. Are you making a personal appeal to the area rep? Well, I would like him to know and see this on the television and make him know that we need help. We need some ad assistance immediately. If you would want to assist the Flores family, you can contact them at cell phone number 635-0677 or 631-1221. Reporting for Love News, Hippolyta Novello.